Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Welcome you all again in the virtual learning system of Pakistan International School Taif, Saudi Arabia. As you know that this is Pakistan International School Taif virtual class for class second year student subject computer science and today is our fifth lecture our fifth video teacher name Imran Ahmed the feedback of our previous lecture we have started question which was describe different types of operating system over with over there we have described already batch processing operating system, multi-programming operating system, multitasking operating system, time sharing operating system, real-time operating system, multiprocessor operating system, parallel processing operating system, distributed operating system, embedded operating system. Next question was, describe the types of operating system on the basis of user they support. Over there, we have explained single user operating system. In single user operating system, we have defined single user, single tasking, single user, multitasking, multi-user operating system. Next question was, this was question already we have started, describe different functions performed by operating system. Different function performed by operating system. So functions of operating systems are process management. We have started this question, last topic where we uh, stop our lecture was the process management. Next, memory management. Memory management is very important function of operating system. Computer can execute many programs at a time. Watch over there. There are two or three programs are running currently in my computer. One program is Zoom and another program is Adobe Reader. So two programs are running. So you can execute multiple programs means more than two programs you can run in your computer at a time. So what happened with the memory? We will discuss over here. The operating system allocates required memory for the program and data. Required memory for the program. Let's say my program is Adobe Reader. This one is Adobe Reader, which you are watching uh, right now. So the contents written in their file is data. So program is Adobe Reader and contents is data. So how much the space required in the memory for the program means for the Adobe Reader and for this data which you are watching. It also deallocates. Allocate means when they are assigned. Deallocates when I will close this program. It means that memory release that program from the memory. So it will be responsibility. It is the function of operating system. It also deallocates the memory location where it is no more required. No more required means, so if I close this program, it means that I don't want to use this program. So it is no more than memory also deallocate that program. The operating system ensures that a program use the memory location of any other program. So operating system will ensure that which program is currently using. This function is performed efficient manner so that all programs in memory are executed without any problem. So many programs over there, over here, I am using right, uh, right now two programs. One is Adobe Reader and one is Zoom recording or Zoom meeting. So two programs are currently executed in my computer. So it is the responsibility of operating system it is a function of operating system it will assign the memory space for the zoom and also memory space for the adobe reader 
example let's let us we will explain explain this topic with the example the following example shows that the memory management for two processes let's say one process is over in the diagram watch over here over here it is written process p1 let's say process p1 is zoom and process p2 is adobe reader then what happened this two process these are the two programs currently i am using so the following example shows the memory management for two process p1 and p2 the process p2 is being swept in and p1 is being swept out watch over here so what is swept in and what is swept out when at a moment right a moment i am using two programs so when the p2 operating system let this one is the part of operating system this one is a part of memory management watch over here this is our ram this block shows the ram so user program whenever i open this program process p1 let's say i open uh, p2 is uh, my zoom meeting so it is reside in the memory location means it is stored in the rom the ram sorry it is stored in the ram when it completes then it will be go out swept out swept out means when a program swept in and swept out meaning is this swept in is that when a program is going to memory or memory ram is access the process is called swept in when it is released from the main memory then it is called swept out already operating system resides in ram in main memory when it is reside when i turn on the power of my computer or my laptop then some files some important files of operating systems reside in our required ram so this one is already required so over here operating system ensures that which programs is swept in and which program is swept out so overall this is the diagram for memory management okay next topic next topic means next function of operating system file management there are different files there are different files in our computer system so we will discuss one by one over there file management is the process of managing files and folders on storage devices such as hard disk in our hard disk how many folders are there what windows folder is there my documents so these are the many other uh, folders are there our own created folders are there so who will manage or who will organize this folder it is the responsibility of uh, operating system who will organize our folder also the files what is a file file is uh, you can say that this is the file adobe reader is a program so this one is a file or a file of adobe reader so operating system control or manage this file as well where these files are stored where our folders are stored we can store our files and folders in operate in hard disk in c drive let's say in d drive in e drive whatever or in any other drive or we can also store our files in usb let's say you have songs mp3 songs or mp4 songs or any video clips then you can also store in hard disk as well as in usb as well as in memory card so these are the file manage this is the responsibility of operating system to manage and organize your files the operating system allows the user to perform different operations such as creating creating means whenever i open the ms word what purpose i open the ms word for writing any document so it means that creating a document it is called creating a document whenever i open any uh, file pro program let's say i open the ms excel why i open the ms excel to create a file of excel so this one is known as creating deleting deleting means whenever useless files are stored in our computer in our hard disk what we have to do we will delete obviously we will delete that files or folder 
So copying, I need some kind of data again and again in different places. Then what is the process? So copy is the process. I will make different copies of the same data and place it any other folder or any other hard disk location. Moving, moving means cut. In computer or MS Word, we can say that cut. Let's say I don't want a file in D drive. I want that file in C drive or on desktop. What we what I will have to do? Obviously, I will cut that file from the D drive and paste in the uh, C drive or on the desktop. So this one is called the moving. And searching files and folders. Searching means searching is the process. If you have the file and you are currently I used save that file a year before. Now you forget the name of that file. Then what is the process to find that file or folder? Obviously, you will find like this one. So you will file. Uh, you will search the file in press the Windows key plus R or Windows F. Windows F. When you will press the Windows F, search menu will be appear. You will write if your uh, word file is missing, then what you will have to do if the word file is missing, then you will write static dot doc. The extension of word file is doc. So you when you will type the static dot doc, it will show all the files present in the current drive or when you will click on the my computer, it will shows all the file of MS Word which are present in your computer system. Similarly, if your Excel file is missing and you store a uh, year before or week before or month before, but you forget the name of that file, then what is the process to find that file? So you will press the Windows F, window key plus, uh, Windows key plus F at a time, then you will see the search menu will be appear over there you will write steric dot xls so the extension of excel file is xls when you click the ok or search so it will show all the files present in your computer at the same time in a list so you can find over there easily so it is the responsibility of operating system it will search the file for you it also allows the user to perform read, write, and close operation on the files and folder. What is read operation? Read operation currently I am reading over here. Watch over this one is called the read operation. Write operation. If I want to make the changes in this file, then it means that I'm reading as well as writing operation is performed. Read means whenever a file is present and just for read purpose, now this file is for read purpose. I am reading the file for you. So this one is read operation I am performing. If some mistakes are there, then what happened? What I will have to do? I will select that part and make the changes. Then this, this at this time, this one is called the write operation. And the close operation, whenever we will finish the, our lecture, I will Cross that lecture, then this one is called the close operation on files and folder also. So this one is called file management. Next, input output management. What is input management and what is output management? Before starting this topic, input management and output management, input devices. What are the input devices? Mouse, keyboard, scanner up to so on there are a number of input devices and the output devices like mon monitor printer plotter speaker these are the output devices so who will organize or who will manage these uh, input output devices operating system obviously operating system organize and manage input output devices over here we will discuss input we can shortly call this one io management Actually, this word is I stand for input, O stand for output. So input, output management. Input, output management is the process of managing the operations of all input, output devices attached to a computer. Right a moment, with my laptop, there are two 
input devices are attached. One is keyboard is already present in every laptop. So next is key touchpad is there. Touchpad where I control the movement of the mouse and also I am using right movement the mouse are as well to protect the touchpad I am using mouse so there are two input devices are already attached so many other devices I can attach like scanner I can attach like a headphone I can attach so many other devices I can attach the user communicate with the computer using input and output devices so how can I communicate with the, my computer system? If operating, if I remove the operating system from my computer, can I use my laptop? Can I use my PC? Obviously not. Then what happened? So operating system when I install, now it is the responsibility when I install the operating system, it is the responsibility of operating system to control and to manage these kind of devices such as keyboard mouse and printer the operating system manages these devices such as using input and output controller there are input controller output controller it is a function of operating system it detects and handles the error during data transmission during during the let's say mouse cable is not attached properly sometime it is working function uh, and sometime it is so operating system close uh, our operating system stop the process of any device example suppose three programs a b and c needs to use a printer the operating system decide which program is allowed to use it first in a network let, let's say in a network if one printer is attached with a computer but that printer is shared at a moment right a moment all of three programs need to be printed then now operating system will decide which program will be executed first or which he will assign the printer first so it is called the scheduling it is called scheduling so it will check operating system will check if a is coming first request then operating system allows printer to a otherwise it will check if the b want to access the printer and its request request was the first so it is called a operating system assign printer to the b and as well as c also now the responsibility of operating system to assign a printer to all of these programs one by one and this one is called the scheduling scheduling is a fifo kind of fifo or kind of lilo fifo means first in first out like if this programs want to be executed first it request was first so it will be also executed first so this is called the fifo or lilo lilo means but most probably not in the printer case lilo is not applicable over here uh, so lilo is last in last out it will create a queue queue in the previous topic i told you about the queue what is a queue 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 is a fifo or lilo it means that you are standing in a line so what is the procedure of making a line why you stay over in a line so th that person or those person who comes first they will serve first so this is called the queue it means that first in first out and lilo means last in last out so it will operating system will create a queue so it will store the request in a queue a is coming first it will add the top position b is coming second it will add the center position c is coming third so it will add the last position so which program was currently a is coming first so operating system will allocate printer to the a then when it will perform its job uh, then it will goes out then b will be in the, after that c will be in program will use the printer turn by turn so this one is known as input output management secondary storage management secondary storage management means what is secondary storage is secondary storage like hard disk like usb like memory card so these devices are known as secondary storage management secondary storage management is the process of managing all secondary storage devices such as hard disk 
so over here just one example is given like hard disk but usb is also secondary storage device floppy disk is also even cd is a secondary storage device memory card is a secondary storage device the operating system manages the free space to the user programs uh, free and the data to the storage it is it also allocates and deallocates the storage space to the user program allocates and deallocates i told you before that uh, when i want to save my file so operating system place my file in any location of hard disk so this one is known as secondary storage manager example suppose a file needs to be stored on the hard disk like for example this uh, uh, file is open currently and i want to save this file in hard disk what happened the operating system will check the free space on the hard disk first operating system check that your hard disk is full full or not if it is full then it will show a message that there is no space on the hard disk it will assign if it is not full then what happened it will assign a proper address for the file so if it is not full operating system will store your file with the address of that file is available otherwise the operating system will show a message to empty the space otherwise what happened operating system will show the message so i hope we will understand this topic today i think it's enough inshallah tomorrow we will start the further and we will complete this question so this one the question was functions of operating system functions of operating system so different functions of operating system uh, number one process management memory management file management input output management secondary storage management so inshallah tomorrow we will study the network management protection system of so on inshallah tomorrow we will so tomorrow we will study that topic okay uh, i think today is end of lecture uh, take care of yourself pray for me pray for all muslim we'll see you tomorrow inshallah okay allah hafiz